Haskell, a statically typed general purpose language made famous for expanding the minds of developers into the functional programming paradigm. You see, Haskell is a purely functional language based on lambda calculus, which means a function always produces the same output given the same input. Unlike an imperative language, your code can't modify the inputs or produce side effects that would otherwise change the behavior of the application. It was first developed in 1987 and named after logician Haskell Curry, whose work had a massive influence on the functional programming world. It's been used to build a wide variety of server-side applications, like the Hasura API platform, spam filtering at Facebook, and compilers for other languages like Elm and PureScript, and it's responsible for a countless number of blog posts about monads. In Haskell, you write declarative code, where the program is a single expression that is executed by evaluating that expression. It also uses lazy evaluation, which means an expression is not evaluated until it's actually used by a function. This can result in big performance gains, but unpredictable memory use at runtime. All data in a Haskell program is immutable, which produces a lot of memory garbage, so it contains a garbage collector to clean things up. To get started, install the Glasgow Haskell compiler, then create a file ending in .hs. We don't work with statements here, only expressions, which is code that will always evaluate to a value. Create a string with double quotes, then give it a name with the equal sign. The value is immutable and can never be changed. The type will automatically be inferred, or we can strongly type it with a double colon as a list of characters. Now to define a function, start with a name, followed by the arguments that you want to pass to it. On the right side, define the logic of the function, and it will automatically return a value based on the result of the expression. We can also statically type it, using an arrow to separate the arguments and return value. We can call the function by referencing its name with the arguments. All values, including functions, are first class, which means they can be passed as arguments to other functions. If we try to print the result to the standard output, we get an error. That's because working with I.O. creates a side effect. To write a program that actually does something, we write a main function with a do block. Here we can chain together a sequence of actions where the side effects are abstracted away, made possible by a mathematical concept known as the monad, which is basically a wrapper that can make functional code more modular. Now to run your code, you can use the interactive interpreter or compile it to an executable by running ghc make. This has been Haskell in 100 seconds. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more short videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.